has literally been the hardest secret to keep. We all know I'm an excessive loud mouth and I have wanted to scream from the rooftops about getting a puppy i'm not gonna talk too much in this intro because i know you guys don't really care like we, we'll just want to see her i quite literally have had to put a zip on my mouth but today's the day it's finally come around i've woken up at 6 a.m because i'm so excited i've actually got a friend staying here um who's gonna drive me so that she has a really nice safe comfortable journey home i don't know if you can see but i've got all her crate and her little travel bag over there i'm gonna make some breakfast now because I'm trying to be a good host. So my hair and makeup for her. She's got to know that her mum is glam. But yeah. We're getting done. <laughs> oh God. I can't wait. I'm literally starting my little family. <laughs> crying aren't you Just hold her on your lap. No, because, yeah, but how... No, I mean, just hold the bag on your lap. No, because, like, babe, I want to get her out. Well, just put her on your lap, then. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, she's having a proper climb. How am I gonna get her out of this? Just hold her, just grab her. Put one hand in. Babe, I'm just really scared. She's a tiny little sausage. I'm scared I'm gonna hurt. Just put one hand under her belly and just grab her out. Come on, eat it. Don't. Man. <laughs> That's staying in. What? That's staying in and my mum's gonna see that. Guys, I did it. I gave birth and I look fucking good for it. My mum would tell it like a tart because me bra's porky now. Bless her. I think tonight's gonna be really hard because I know puppies get really upset the first couple nights now. I just got a kiss. You just got a little kiss. Puppies get sad when they're away from their mommies. <gasps> it's sunny because it's your birthday. Pretty girl. Oh, she smells like puppy. Aww. You're gonna wheel mum. Probably. No, we're not doing that, are we? She might get a bit scared of the car. No. Right. I'll catch up with you guys when we're back home. <laughs> How do you think to say? What do I have to say? Yeah. Um, I'm really excited. I keep saying that it doesn't feel like it's real yet. I keep thinking someone's gonna come and take her away from me, but they're not. Hopefully. And I can't wait to w just wake up every morning and she's gonna be there. You can tell like I'm just so terrified of hurting her or like dropping i mean no no i'm not gonna drop her but she was super good in the car wasn't she she was and she slept really well she's moving around yeah. i'm just so scared of her suffocating like what's my problem it's cold i've never tread so carefully in my life like i'm walking on my knees fam. <laughs> this is your pr package Thank you so much whoever sent me this oh my god what's inside Oh! 
Oh my dirty rug. Guys, no one judged me. I was supposed to be getting a rug clean, but they can't. <gasps> Guys, she's just done her first wee on the puppy pad. We literally just put it down. The best. The best. The best doggy. Look at little tail wagging. Ida, who's this? Ida, who's this? Oh my god. I think she's scared. Who's that? Who's that in there? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. They just get confused. Kisses? This is mummy's bed. Well, you can come, but I'm afraid you're not going to be sleeping because we need you to be okay on your own. Let's not jump off the sides. This is mommy's dressing room. Mummy has lots of nice expensive shoes. She wants to stay in looking nice and expensive. You got that? Yeah? Good girl. You just want your toy, don't you? You don't care about mommy's shoes. She's so well behaved. She's such a good girl. Girl got back. <laughs> I'm like her mother. I, uh, you want some water? She yeah, let's get, get, get some, some water. food and water. I know. Who's this? Who's this? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. cry a lot last night either yeah but it's okay now isn't it because mum's there and you made it through and there were a couple hours that you actually slept so come on time to get dressed no dilly dallying Hi everyone, um, it's the next day. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Ida. Now kind of called Ida Ho, we think that's quite funny. This is Ida, she's my miniature Dachshund puppy. She is only eight weeks old. The earliest date you can pick them up. You are so well behaved. I can't get over it. Honestly guys, I know, like obviously I'm gonna be biased because she's my dog and I love, she's my dog. And I just love her to pieces. I think she's the best creation ever known to man. But she has just been an absolute jam. She already knows what no means. If she starts chewing on a blanket or a rug and I just say no, like she knows to stop. She knows her name. She comes to her name. She wakes up and goes straight for a wee on her puppy pads. She has taken a liking to specifically asking to come up onto the sofa so she can poo on it. Nobody's perfect, hey? We all have our toxic traits. Shitting on the sofa is questionable. We had a really tricky night last night. She was very, very, very upset. And it was really hard to leave her in the crate like when she was that upset. Do you wanna go down? Sorry guys, I'm not gonna hold her up. She wants to be down. Now you wanna come back up, hey? Look at her. <laughs> she's cute. 
had her toys in there with her. I had the blanket that her mum gave her, but I just think she was really homesick. I know that the best thing to do is leave them. So I did leave them. I think I averaged about three hours sleep. I think she maybe only averaged one or two. But I woke up at six, got her out of her crate. We had a little bit of playtime in the living room. She's just super happy and she's settling in so well. And I have to say props to the breeder for that. I'll probably share the breeder's name with you um, at some point, but you know, obviously I know there's a lot of people get upset um, about buying dogs and I do, I understand that. This was a decision that I made. I would have absolutely loved to have adopted. A lot of adoption places, they have really specific requirements such as having a garden. I have a balcony, it's gonna be chicken wired off, but I won't be letting her out there. It's more so just in case like she does run out, but obviously I'm just, locked that door and like actually fully locked it so a friend can't accidentally open it they preferably like you to be a little bit older i mean i know this doesn't apply to all adoption agencies it's also really hard you know to find the breed of dog i want the type of dog i want with out a lot of health problems i'm not going to be commenting on it any further um i don't really think i have to justify my decision um we're super happy and i just really ask you respect my decision even if yours would be different i grew up with a black labrador and if you guys followed me back then you would know that like she was my world she was in so many of my vlogs she was called molly and she was such a little angel and ever since then i've always wanted a dog but i've known that i haven't been in the position to own one i wanted to go out and i wanted to party and i wanted to have fun and i wanted to behave like a 19 20 year old which i did and i don't regret that but i've mallowed out a lot you know i'm not saying i'm not gonna go out obviously i need to have a life aside from the dog but i fully know and fully trust in myself that i can just give her the best life and she is gonna be so loved she already is just so loved before i even had her i did go to visit her before i picked her up about a month or yeah maybe a month no three weeks before i think i went to go and see her and it was just love at first sight she got out of her little bed and ran over to me and the breeder actually like said to me oh i don't think you need to choose i think she's chosen you which she really did it honestly does feel like we're just best friends we have a lot of fun together she naps and then has zoomies that's basically her routine she She's eating well, she's drinking her water. I also think it's really important to say that I know like a lot of you watching this will be like, oh my God, I want a puppy. Having and owning a puppy is a huge, huge, huge responsibility. Hence why I haven't done it till now. It's a huge decision and it's a lifelong decision. The dog isn't gonna stay a puppy forever. I will probably have my babies within her lifetime, which is crazy to think about. I'm so excited to be her forever mummy. I obviously just think it's really important I say that. As they say, dog is for life not just for Christmas. You crazy. Do you want me to put you down? There you go. She's gonna wanna come back up in two minutes. <laughs> right now i'm honestly just elated i'm over the moon i couldn't be more obsessed and i just can't wait to give her the best life ever hey big boy right she wants to go and play my mum's coming down tomorrow so i might do like a little tiktok reaction of her meeting her i can't believe i've managed to keep this in for so long this has been a long time in the works i know so many of you are going to be so lovely and i just want to say thank you in advance like i really just am the happiest are you coming to say goodbye? I really am just the happiest girl right now. I think we've got two very happy girls here. And yeah, we love you all so much. That's my year. And we'll see you soon. Say bye, Ida. <laughs> She's had enough. Say, Mum, Christ, you better be putting me on a payroll.